Okay, I've seen the question asked several times around what is the best glue to use for EPP foam? A bunch of different answers. I usually use Yuhu Pour. I don't know what the best glue is, so I thought I'd cut out a whole load of uh, EPP strips and uh, try it. So I've got Yuhu Pour Hot Glue B7000, which I've found in my kit bag, a surprise adhesive force. Um, E6000, uh, Zap Thin CA Glue, Gorilla Super Glue, and Gorilla Clear. Um, so I thought I'll oh, give these all a go and see what sticks best. Um, I have sped up these first few clips because I watched them back and I was waffling and it was a bit boring. So I um, thought we'd just get to the chase. So Yuhu Pour uh, as a contact adhesive, so spreading it on both bits of foam that we want to stick together and leaving it for a good sort of 10-15 minutes until it's dry before you press it together. So I'll put that to one side. Yuhu Pour just used as a normal glue, put on one side, squish down, thought see how that does because sometimes I use it like that to fix generally broken stuff um, hot glue the hot glue gun has been on for a good five ten minutes to make sure it's really hot um, obviously you want to make sure it's hot for a good adhesion I could actually feel the heat coming through the foam so um, I think that was as hot as it was going to get um, just pressing those down a bit um, B7000 unfortunately it had run out um, I've not really heard it mentioned that much. I think I got it in a kit with something and it's obviously dried out in the tube. So skip that. Um, E6000, my tube would burst, so it's wrapped in tissue. Um, but obviously, firm favourite. Um, and then we've got Zap CA Thin. Don't really hear people talking about gluing foam together with super glue CA glue but uh, I know people glue spars in with it so I thought give it a go as I'd got it and the same with super glue gorilla super glue never heard anybody recommend that but again I had it so why not give it a go and then finally gorilla glue clear just a bit of a spray with light spray with water on both sides first stick it on and then once I've done this I put a whole bunch of weights on it and um, I was going to leave it for two days, I ended up leaving it for four days, so it's had the best chance possible to cure. So the um, glues have had about four days uh, to cure. Um, I did this Thursday evening last week, I think. Uh, maybe Wednesday, we're now on Tuesday evening. Um, in a not very particularly scientific manner, I'm just going to try and rip these off and see... Uh, what I think is is um, harder to get off. So the bottom one is uh, the bottom two actually are you who pour. The first one was done as a contact adhesive, um, so on the two parts left to dry, stuck together. The second one was used as sort of regular glue, just stuck on one side, squidged on, um, and then all, all the glues, the whole lot had um, weight sat on it. Um, for a couple of days as well, a big stack of lipos have been resting on it, so uh, I'm just going to see what I can rip off. So the bottom one is the Yuhu pour as a contact, so that really doesn't want to come off. Uh, let's just see if we can grab it with the pliers, so as you can see um the foam is ripping before you who pours coming off which i have to say is sort of uh in line with my experience of using you who pour uh for foam to foam joints yeah i mean that's you're not not getting that off so where it's been used as a glue and that did peel a little bit actually not quite as tough um, but still stuck pretty well, but you can see it's not, it is tearing the foam, but it's not leaving foam stuck on it. You can, that is peeling, so pretty good as just using it as a glue, but not, not the same level of adhesion as using it as a contact adhesive. Um, you can see it is sort of coming off, um, completely. Uh, hot glue, which um, could well be a good firm winner. Well, actually, that bit came off fairly easily. Um, to pull off some of the foam with it. Yeah, I think, I mean, 
as you're not getting that off either. Um, that was really hot. That had been left on for a while. Um, I guess with hot glue though, if I grab the actual glue, um, I was thinking with that, pull it off, but it doesn't want to all peel off in a line. So, um, yeah, I'd say hot glue clearly does the job. Um, I guess, obviously, it can go soft if it's near something hot. Um, I've had some hot glue go soft near VTXs that have been not really had great airflow in the past. Uh, E6000, um, so let's see what that's like. Again, just tears the foam. Uh, I don't think that glue had squidged all the way to that edge there. But I think it's fair to say, again, you're going to tear the foam before you pull pull that off. So I can see why so many people use one glue and swear by it because, I mean, all of these seem pretty good so far. I mean, that E6000 glue isn't coming off. The hot glue, pretty damn good. I mean, the glue will peel off the foam, but... Uh, I mean, this is really hot. You could feel the heat of it through the foam, so it's not. I don't think you're going to get get the uh, that off. Yeah, not the most riveting video. Me <laughs> pulling apart bits of foam. Yeah, I think the E6000. I've put a big blob on and squidged it. I think the end just didn't have as much glue. Yeah, that's not. Um, that was going to be B7000. I thought I'd got some. I hadn't the glue tub was empty. Uh, Zap CA tin. I had it. Um, so I thought I'd try it, but I guess you wouldn't really use super glue for gluing foam together normally let's use my fingers with that so and it has stuck it does come off i wouldn't it's not great um again it's actually ripping the foam probably more than that uh this is gorilla super glue um now these were painted right to the edge so that's come off there and not Fine. Goes to yeah. So well, that has actually stuck. You're ripping the foam before you get that off, and then finally, Gorilla Clear. Uh, I don't have the normal Gorilla brand, but this is uh, so this was sprayed with a bit of water, and then the you uh, Gorilla Clear was put on. Um, this one doesn't expand like. Gorilla Brown, actually, that came off pretty easily then. Okay, so Gorilla Clear, definitely the loser in this situation because that was, and you can see I've put um, plenty of glue on, so it was squidging out the side. I sprayed it with water, um, put the glue on, gave it a good squidge, it had weight sat on it. Um, but yeah, that came off, and it, you can see it sort of looks like it's, you could peel layers of it off. So, um, actually I thought that was going to do quite well. I mean, maybe for um, sticking things to foam, it's great, but foam to foam, Gorilla Glare, clear doesn't seem, seem great. Everything else actually ripped the foam before it came apart. I mean, the super glue, I don't really like it's not actually that brittle. Um, I did try that on a piece of foam earlier, and it, it does take a while to really stick. You've got to put quite a lot on, uh, and I guess certain foams, it might eat the foam. Uh, but I think E6000 hot glue or YooHoo pour as a contact adhesive, um, depending on... The scenario and how you're trying to glue it. If it's two smooth surfaces, you who pour um, hot glue and E6000 all seem to do really well. 
Uh, I mean, I think from a weight point of view, where it's flat surfaces, I'll probably continue to use you hoop pour. Um, and then if it's a bit of a rougher surface, uh, fixing brakes and things, maybe hot glue or already 6,000. Um, so not very scientific, uh, but I guess it does say that, you know, actually these are all great choices in glue, no matter which one you're using for sticking foam to foam. So it seems like there's not a clear winner. Uh, Yoohoo probably weighs less than hot glue, I guess, and maybe E6000. Um, I struggle with hot glue to apply it neatly. I end up with stringy bits. The excess does peel off. That's on a bit of uh, tape. Um, and, and, and E6000's great. Oh, that can make the foam a bit, a bit rubbery. Uh, so, but Gorilla Clear, I guess, out of all of them is the, is the loser for sticking foam to foam. Well... Even if that wasn't uh, particularly insightful, at least it kind of might show that actually, you know, there isn't one glue that's significantly better than others. Um, so whichever you're more comfortable with using for that particular purpose is, is probably the right one. Thanks for watching.